Welcome! On this video, we will review how to add the new license for Remedy Smart Reporting. It is important to mention that two different license files are available and two different expiration dates. The reason for this is that from Remedy Smart Reporting version 18.08 and below, the application is based on Yellowfin Build 7. And from Remedy Smart Reporting version 19.02 and above, the application is based on Yellowfin 8. Application versions based on Build 7 expired on December 2020, and versions based on Build 8 expired on December 2021. After applying the new license file, the license will be perpetual. The license files are available to be downloaded from our electronic product distribution website. To add the new license for Remedy Small Reporting is necessary to download the license file accordingly to the application version, access to Remedy Small Reporting using SI admin credentials into the default organization through the application direct URL. Open the license management page, upload the license file, review the information of the new license and submit the change. Let's go to the demo. Open a web browser and input the direct URL of Remedy Smart Reporting. Notice that if the application was installed with a bundle Tomcat, the URL will look like this. And if the application is using an external Tomcat, the URL will look like this. Input the SI admin credentials and click on Login button. Another note here, if this user was added to the client organization that was created during the onboarding process, a multi-login page will be displayed as shown here. On that case, make sure to select Default Organization in the drop-down list. We can verify that we have access to the default organization by looking to the client name at the top right side of the page. Now, click on the main menu, then click on Administration and click on License Management. Click on the Upload License option to expand this section. Click on the Browse button and select the license file corresponding to the application version that was downloaded from the Electronic Product Distribution website. Click on Preview button to display the details of the new license. We can see that new expiry date will look like this. Click on Submit button to apply the changes. We can see that new license details are applied. Thank you for watching.